Good idea as well. I'm gonna finally get around and pop on these caps. I don't expect too much happen at first because they are sort of dried out. I mean, it's not really um, very heavy yet. It's pretty light and weight. And tapping it doesn't sound like it's got much in there. So yeah, that's, to me that's yeah, that'd be dried out. So let's hook them across this and see what happens. Also, using a ballast, this is a main benefit of using this to stop the primary from getting worked too hard or overheating it and then going up in smoke. I don't want to pop this mic, I want to get as much use as I can out of it. So using the ballast to protect it is a good idea. That's probably um, the heater ballast I'm using is a column heater, so this. It's a 2400 watt ballast, constant 10 amps. Both settings on, thermostat flat out. So that will protect the mic, so the mic will, 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 won't pull any more than what the heater is capable of. On its own, this thing, as it overloads, it will pull up to 20 amps. So, as I said, I don't want to pop this mic. So I'm using the heater to protect it, and to get as much use as I can out of it. Because this barely even gets warm with a ballast. Well, the ballast is, it's just two power points hooked together in series, so I'm active. Goes through to my load, or through to my ballast, so active it goes in here from your supply. Out this active, through your load, back through to neutral, and that becomes, uh, goes through the active, and that becomes the active on this power point, which goes through your load, and neutral just goes straight back to your line, and earth is hooked up all together, so very important to hook earth up as well. So all of this active comes out from your supply, through this ballast active, through your load, Active goes back out through the load through this neutral, which becomes active flowing through here on your load. So, yeah, basically how it works. So, all you're doing is limiting current, but still having fun at the same time because the heater I'm using is still plenty. Um, I get plenty out there to this, so yeah, I start popping. Okay, fuels are all set up, caps ready to be popped. There's all my stock. Electricity meter hooked up. I'm going to plug this in, unplugged of course, so that's, and again, safety first, so I put these on and we can start popping. Now I've always got a blast shield so a cap doesn't shoot me in the face, just an extra safety precaution. Power on, alright, power on. Any time now. No, perhaps it's not going to pop. Hmm. We are pulling some energy there. Okay. Power off, unplug. Oh, not even warm. That cap is bad. Let's try another cap. Power on. Hopefully this needs gonna get a bang. Yeah, these caps must really be bad after all. Nothing. That's disappointing. No pops, not even smoke. Unplug. It's not even bloody warm. That one's bad too. Alright, let's cut to the chase and get one of these big ones. 16 volt 470 microfarad tower brand. Let's see what this does. Power on.
Well, looks like this cap's a really bad after all. All that, all that energy, it's still not running the pot. Power off, unplug. Hmm, let's try some other technique then. Let's try heating them up. Inducing heat this way. Instead of using electricity to overload them. That's thermally overloading. Oh. Yeah, see? They're bad. That's why I didn't get much of a result. They're dry here. Yeah. Wouldn't even pass 2 kV. Yeah. They couldn't pass 2000 volts, so they're gonna get heated up like this to make them pop. A little bonfire going here. See, they don't do much. That would be better. All I do is just a little fart, no bang. Oof, burning, hold That one was really bad. Nothing from that one. A bit better. Get that smoke clear out. Alright, let's go again. Alright, and then the last two, just for these big boys, these shall go off for the bang. Better do one at a time in case they go flying. Oh. Well, that smell is terrible.
go. Done. Best way to pop caps so they pop electronically. Alright, the wheels now they're taken care of. I'm gonna try and boil some water and iron sand again. Try and fuse some iron filings together. Make some metal sculptures. Just too much water this time, but it's all gonna evaporate anyway. Oh, melting the copper. Yeah. As you can see, it's a deadly amount of current to kill you, so be very careful with these things. Okay, shut the power off. Unplug. Always unplug. And shift the anode down. So I might mix it up a bit, get it to soak in. Just damp from um, the previous video's experiment, so half this iron's all rusted now, yeah, so. Oh. Put them in deeper. Oh, that's ah, a little bit hot. Yeah, a bit like sandpaper, clean the copper up. I like this skull again. I've used from before. About 80 watt hours today. And yeah, that's too far in. And the other one is starting to mark. Starting to blow up. I'll get behind this shield so I don't get hot stuff on me. Alright, the anode sands have melted a bit. Power off. Oh, this cup of tea is a very high source of energy. So, if you're feeling tired, drink this and you'll feel good. Probably won't sleep for a couple of days, it's got that much energy in this. I wonder if this will work as a crude earth battery. Alright. I think you use zinc and copper. I haven't got a zinc anode, otherwise I'll just put a zinc anode in there and measure it with a multimeter, see if I get nothing. But then again, then again it's AC, so you're not really going to um, charge it. Because it needs to be DC for it to work. Let's put that in again. Can't bend that very much. Let's try it now. Passing up the mud where the um, moisture is on the ceramic. Enough, I might spit that mug. Just glowing red, not much arcing there, so it should be something in there that's falling a good solid mass.
Alright, cut power. One plug. Very important. Yeah, we've used another 20 watt hours, so that's 100 watt hours used today. That'd be enough for now, so let's observe this and see what happened. Oh yeah, that's a hot mug. Alright, let's see if I can feel for a solid mass. The water's obviously gone to the bottom. Uh, I don't think there's any anything in there. It's too much salt. I need a lot more iron content for it to work properly. No, that's not nothing down there. Just clumps. I like yours. That's enough for today. So, thanks for watching.